Uh, in this session, uh, I think it's the last of the day, we are gonna do visual data entry. What does it mean? Uh, well, we're gonna try to build something like this when uh, the, your users are entering some of the data. So the thing is that if you don't do nothing, uh, the data element will just show a list, a uh, dropdown that you can select. But if you use uh, the different uh, colors and icons in your option set, then you're gonna be able to create something like this uh, using the icons. So let's go and see how you can do something like this. So in this example that we are gonna build, you are gonna work with the options of an option set. So when you enter an, an option set, you have different options. Uh, if you take here, you have three different options for this option set. And when you edit it, it lets you change the icon. So the first thing that we are gonna do is like select the different icons that we want to put to the, your different options. And then you can select the color. Uh, the color selection tool for this one is a bit different. Uh, what you can do is just enter to this website here, HTML color codes and copy the codes that you want uh, or select it directly in your, in your tool. But if you want to be sure that you always pick the same color, you can come here and then you can, okay. Then you can select the different color you, you want. For example, if you want a green one and then copy this code here. And if you copy that, then when you come here, you can put just your color here in the total color tool selection. So to display an options as images, as I saw you before, the first thing that we have to do is add the data element to a section. So we create a section for that. And there's a site where we will be creating one. Then we are gonna find a data element uh, which is linked to an option set. And then we have to set the options with icons. So three steps. These are very important because are the few steps that we have to do in the exercise later. So, Create a, a section, add the data element, who is linked to an option set, who has icons in their options. And then when uh, we create the section, we can check, we can switch between listing, sequential, or matrix. What does it mean? Well, here you can see these are the three different options, uh, are the different rendering types for the section. So if you in the section put the listing type, you're gonna see a list like here. You can see that you have a list of uh, different entries and that's it. But <laughs> if you use the matrix one, you're gonna see a grid of the different options that you have in your options set for this data element. If you use the sequential one, you're gonna see the list like this. So the it's, it's on you which one you, you prefer to, to use. Um, okay, if you want to see all the information about this, it's everything in the documentation. You have here the link. You can just click here, and then you come, you see how that works, and you can see also different options that you have. Everything is here in the documentation. So let's have a look uh, in the app. So I'm gonna try to share my screen again now. Okay. Okay, for example, if I enter here to the tracking type that we created before, I just have here at the end, uh, another section that I just created. If you check here, we have these four options for the option set. So it's just a drop down, a regular drop down, and that's the default option. So you can check here and whatever. 
So let's move to the, to the server side and then we can configure everything. So for that thing, uh, first of all, we have to make sure that we have our, um, our option set ready. So if you check, we have the, if you put here test, you should see the, the, test, uh, the test type. So in this, in this guy is this mine. This is the test type that we are showing. And then you have here the different options. So for that, I'm gonna just add some uh, colors here. As I said before, you can do something like this to see the number. So for example, I want that one. And the icon, I'm gonna just uh, put some random icons here. So for example, this build, this building here. Now for the next one, I'm gonna set another color. Oh, it's too green. And then put baby, for example. <laughs> now the next one, I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna select another color. Another icon. And for the last one, the same. Uh, I'm just selecting another color here. Uh, oh, I don't know. Here, a yellow one. Then just, for example. And now that we have the different options in your option set, you can go back and check that your data element is having the, the same. So your data element is already created. This would be SP, SPX type of text. So this one, SPX type of text. I'm gonna type it, I'm gonna copy here. as the data element. I'm gonna put it in the chat or before. Uh, I don't know where the chat is here. And then uh, you can come here and see that the option set is the text type that we already uh, defined. So now if you go to your program, you can go to, to your program stage here. And what you have to do is go to the first uh, stage and create a new section. Well, first of all, you have to assign the data element. So you have to come to the data element, make sure that you have here the data element. So if you put here SP X, I have it here already, but you will have here. So you have to move it. And then when that's done, you have to create your data entry form. You can create a section, I already did, so it's that one. And if you create, you can put here the number of the section, the name of the section. And here in mobile render type, that's, that's the tricky part. Uh, you have to uh, put sequential or matrix. If you put listing, it will, so that if that's the default. So you will see the same that we were seeing before. You have to come here up and put uh, another of the other two. Uh, no, for example, sequential or matrix is the same. Then update. And then you have to add here your uh, data element, which you can just filter here the data element and add it here. I already have it here, so I don't have to do it. And then you, you save everything, okay? And then if we came back here, um, we go back and sync our metadata again. So you can come here, come to the settings. That's very important. Then sync configuration and sync configuration now. So if you trigger this, you're gonna see like the, the syncing bar here. It's gonna sync your configuration. It, will, it could take a few seconds. Okay, it's almost done. 
Okay, I think it's finished now. Okay, you can check now here the the date and the time, and um, it's just now. So what I'm gonna do is go again to my home, go to my program, then I'm gonna enter the user I created before, enter here, and the last, okay, that's kind of ugly because the icons are the colors I selected, but here you have, a, instead of a drop down, you have this selector. So you can just type on it and it will save. Or you can type the other one, it will change. Okay, uh, I think that's it for, for the exercise. Uh, let's go to exercise now. Uh, here. So what you have to do uh, in this section, what we want you to learn is to know how to configure different option sets for visual data entry. And then now how to configure program stages for your visual data entry. So now it's your turn and you have uh, a lot of time. You have almost half an hour to try to work in, on this. And what you have to do is configure the uh, test result of the program state to display visual data entry. You already have the option set created. You already have the data element created. You have to meet, be sure that they are linked and then assign the icons and the colors to the options of the option sets and be sure that you have uh, the correct configuration in the section. Remember, you have to uh, put the matrix or sequential in the section if you want to see the, the results. And here you have the website that is uh, show you before the HTML color codes. And here you can just click here, go and select the different colors. And yes, for the submission, uh, in this hour, in this half an hour, you have to submit at least one screen, a screenshot. So if you do more option sets, you can also send the screenshot, maximum three. And um, it's, so, uh, it's so the data entry showing that one data element with visual data entry for the option sets uh, with the different icons and colors. So it, you will have to do something like this, uh, sorry like this one and take a screenshot of this one and put it. Uh, that's it for me. If you need uh, anything uh, else, like a more documentation, it's also here. So you can type here, or go to the documentation and see how it's done.